Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to wire and use your LiDAR Lite V3 HP or your LiDAR Lite V3. It's going to need minimal materials and it's going to work great. So the, the supplies you'll need are a breadboard, your Arduino Uno, a LiDAR Lite V3 HP or V3, four male to male connectors, preferably on the small side, a small rubber band, a 680 UF capacitor and four female to male uh, connectors and you're going to want them to correspond with the colors on your LiDAR light V3 HP or V3 that you're going to use on the V3 HP it's black red blue and green on the light on the LiDAR light V3 it will be something different it is not necessary but just makes it a little bit easier and yeah those supplies now we can get into the software. All right, so the next step is to open up your browser and search up LiDAR Lite V3 HP or LiDAR Lite V3. You want to go to the Garmin website where it says on the second link right here. And then it loads. You want to go down to manuals and click download for the technical reference and if you scroll down a little bit this supplies you with the diagram for wiring the Arduino what we're going to be doing is the standard Arduino I squared C wiring because it's what I would rather do so let's get started one side note is that for numbers two and three you can see that the wrist these resistors are not required in all applications it's only in required in installations with long cable extensions and we're not going to have that so we can skip that step. Alright so now that we're ready for the wiring I like to set split it up into two parts one without the LiDAR and one with the LiDAR. So the first step is to take one of your male to male connectors put it into the 5 volt pin fourth one up plug that into the positive terminal Take another one, try to get it, put it into the ground pin, which is the second one up, put it into the negative terminal, and your other ones, you'll want it to go from the positive terminal, I uh, usually do right there, to column A on row one, and the other one <coughs> on from the negative terminal, around right there. To around to call to column A on row five. So now it's time for the capacitor. You're going to want to put the longer side or the uh, positive side on row one and the negative side, you can see by the negative, on row five. So put that in right there. Try to get it in. It's a little bit hard. And now that we have it in, we are done with the first step in the wiring process. All right, so for the second step of the wiring, we can set our Arduino and breadboard as aside for a while, for now. And the first step is to figure out what is the best sequence for your personal LiDAR. In my case, or the sequence of the wires, in my case, they kind of fit as in this sequence, blue, red, black, then green. And it might depend on your LiDAR, but it doesn't really matter. This is for organization, and I think it is important. So after you figure out the sequence, you're going to want to put these wires in a square to best fit the wires from the LiDAR. So. As you can see, blue on the top left, red on the top right, um, green on the bottom left, and black on the bottom right. So, blue on the top left, red on the top right, green on the bottom left, black on the bottom right. And there you can see that should be a correct square. Oops, I have one messed up, so switch them around, and yep, that is the correct sequence. 
blue, red, black, then green. After you have this correct sequence, you should see a square looking like this. And you're going to want to wrap it in a rubber band a few times around, around eight, depending on how stretchy your rubber band is. All right, let's do it one more time. It doesn't matter too much, just for organization's sake. You should end up with a square in the right sequence. Yep. And the next step, in my opinion, is the hardest step in the process. And it's g actually getting these wires into the correct slot. And I like to do two at a time. So let's do the blue and the green on the left. Let's put that in like that. See if I can get it in there. Nope. All right. I'm going to cut back to the time where I get it, and that will be nice. And there is the red one. Yes. All right. So I got the four wires in, and now we're ready to plug the male part of it into the breadboard. So as you can see on the diagram, Right there. The green one will go into the top right or the SCL connection. That's what the green wire is. To the top right pin, right there. The blue one will go one under it. The, the red one will be connected to the positive charge or the five volts and that will be on row one so put the red one on row one column C doesn't matter too much but column C is just in the middle of those and then the black one into row five column C like so whoops like so there we go and now lo and behold you have all your wiring done congratulations now time on to the programming all right so the first step in the programming aspect of it is opening a browser going back to manuals and clicking back and it will bring you to the product page again. This time you'll click software. It'll bring you to the GitHub page and the way we're going to download the GitHub page is just download the zip file. Downloads are right there. You're going to want to open Arduino. After you open Arduino you'll want to click sketch, include library, add dot zip library, go to the place you downloaded it, choose it now it says library added to your libraries check include library menu so if you see include library and you click where would it be right here it will include lidar light dot h and lidar light v3 hp dot h but if you can go file examples lidar light you'll see that there's al already example code that you can use for your LiDAR, which is great. You can close out of this one, and instead of using the uh, rock, or instead of writing your own code, you can just use this one. And so now, we're ready to upload it to the Arduino, but before, we need to plug it in from the computer, plug it into the Arduino, it should turn on, Click the serial monitor in the top right where my clicker is. Oh, it says board is not available. First, you need to go to tools, port, and whichever port is your Arduino is on. In this case, it's this one. Now, if you click serial monitor, it will pop up. Just put that on the side of your screen. And when you scroll down, you'll see serial.begin. 115200. 
that should equal your baud rate so just click that and now we're ready to upload to the Arduino moment of truth it's done uploading and to start it in the program just type in a and click and that will give you this simple interface and now you're done if you want a single measurement click s and it will give you the single measurement if you want a timed measurement click t and it will just measure i'm putting my hand in front of it right now and it's measuring the distance in centimeters from my hand to the lidar and if you want to go even faster click c or type c and that is the continuous measurement tool which is great for everything from 3d mapping to pretty much anything you'd ever want to do and now that's the end of this tutorial i hope you learned something thanks very much